Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, I've done quite a number of uh, videos on YouTube, mostly uh, teachings on the Bible and uh, a few hundred prophecies. Um, so I'm called um, by God in the office of prophet and uh, what I mostly do uh, these days is prophesy and, uh, and uh, write books and so uh, you can check on Amazon and find that there's uh, 10 books written by Matthew Robert Payne as of uh, this video. Um, this uh, video is a book review of uh, the book Discoveries in Bible Prophecy, so I'll get on to that. Um, to preface this, to start this, at one stage in my life, uh, due to mental illness, I, I thought that I was one of the two witnesses mentioned in Revelation chapter 11, and that may have you uh, running in fear, but please uh, bear with me. For 16 years, I thought I was one of the two witnesses and uh, studied uh, the Bible uh, to try and work out uh, what I needed to do to judge the world and uh, to save the world at the same time. And uh, I read a whole lot of the Bible and spent uh, hours and hours studying the Bible. Uh, I came out of that delusion uh, when uh, a prophet spoke to me and said that I'm not one of the two witnesses, but uh, um, I, I may uh, work with them in the future. So that pulled me out of my delusion. But I'd spent many years uh, reading the Bible and prophecies in the Bible that were due to come true. So I um, became what I believed in my head to be an expert on uh, the book of Revelation and uh, the, the times that were coming. And um, as with uh, most experts on the book of Revelation, um, a lot of pride creeps in. You start to think that you're right about everything that uh, you believe and everything that you think you see. And um, it takes a while for the Lord to work with you to... Uh, decimate that pride in your life and so God's done a work in me and uh, and I've slowly become more teachable and open uh, to what others say. With that being said, um, it's because I'm teachable, uh, to, to be teachable is someone who starts to read a book and then reads something that is in direct opposition to what they believe someone who's teachable will keep on reading and will just put that on the back burner, that thing that uh, they initially objected to and will keep on reading and then another one will come up and rather than throwing down the book, they'll just keep on reading and put that on the back burner and keep on reading. Well, if you're going to if you are uh, an expert, if you believe you're an expert in, uh, in the book of Revelation, if you think that you've read a lot on Revelation, um, you've read a lot of error. Uh, you're an expert in a lot of error. And so I wouldn't imagine more than 50% of the people who've read a lot about the book of Revelation would be able to get through this book because unless you had a tremendously teachable spirit, unless you're very humble, uh, the objections that are raised in this book to what you currently believe uh, would uh, be too much for you. So um, this is the reason, one of the major reasons why I've decided to uh, uh, make a video on this and post it on YouTube so it can be found, um, simply to warn you that before you pick up discoveries in Bible prophecy, seek the Lord and humble yourself. Don't think that you know best. Don't think that you've been taught to know best and don't think that you understand everything because I guarantee more than one occasion in the book you'll be confronted with something that you don't agree with. I only found one thing in the book uh, that I found uh, 
that uh, didn't seem to be the truth, but it doesn't uh, seem to worry uh, me. It doesn't seem to uh, affect the outcome of the book and the outcome of Revelation unfolding. And uh, it's something I know through personal revelation. And so it's not something I'm going to share with you because I don't want to detract from the book. But um, it, certainly what he says it means in the book uh, won't detract from revelation being poured out and, uh, and people being saved and blessed uh, through the times of the Great Tribulation. Um, if you're a Christian and you feel that you've been taught and you believe uh, that uh, Christians are going to be raptured before the start of the tribulation, things are worrying for you. Um, I would uh, tell you to um, put away what you feel you know and read this book from cover to cover. It will only take you uh, four or five hours to read the book um, and uh, and you'll learn a lot. You may not agree with everything because uh, it may be very hard for you to agree with, but um, when the tribulation starts to pour out and you haven't been raptured, you'll have this book on hand for you to go back uh, chapter by chapter and pour over it line by line and see uh, where you were wrong. Um, the the judgments on uh, on America and the world are going to start very soon, and uh, and it's going to um, well most pre most pre rapture doctrine people believe um, that uh, there's going to be a peace treaty signed in Israel for seven years, and uh, nearly everyone in prophecy prof uh, prophesies that and uh, and says that that's going to happen, and uh, and so they're waiting for this peace treaty in Israel, and so if the tribulation started uh, before. Uh, that peace treaty uh, was signed. They wouldn't agree that it's a tribulation, but it's going to uh, it's going to come like a flood, and it's going to uh, really erupt really fast. And there's going to be a lot of Christians, even you, uh, disillusioned with what they've been taught. And so, um, if you're a believer in the pre-tribulation rapture, uh, I I encourage you to take the time to read this book and think about it because uh, when things start to unfold soon uh, in around the world and uh, people start to say that we're in the tribulation you want to be able to return to this book and the following books I haven't read the following two books yet um, I'm just about to download the second book um, uh, you want to read them to get more information about um, what is truth. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't think that any one person uh, can have all the truth on uh, Revelation, but um, this guy did a tremendous job of convincing me, and uh, he did an amazing job. And uh, and I only found one thing that uh, I thought was an error, um, but uh, what he perceived, like I've said, uh, doesn't uh, really affect the outcome of the Book of Revelation. So it doesn't really mislead people into a detrimental effect. What does mislead people? and millions of people will lose their lives because of it, is that a peace treaty's got to be signed, a temple's got to be built in Israel, and until those things are done, the tribulation won't start. That's going to cost millions of lives. And uh, so I'd, I'd encourage you to uh, not only uh, listen to this video, but uh, go to Facebook and share this video. You need to go up to the, or you can go down to the share button um, on uh, this video and share share the link, or, or you can cut and paste the link onto your um, Facebook um, page and share this video uh, with your friends. Because um, when have you ever got a chance to save hundreds of your friends' lives before? And I really tell you that. Um, 90% of Christians that I know need to change their attitudes. 
needs to change their way of living. So, so many times in my books as I write, I'm talking about uh, uh, living for Christ and leaving the lust of the world behind. And so many times I quote uh, uh, the verse in 1 John 2.15 that you're not to love the world or the things of the world. And James 4.4, 4, uh, don't be a friend of the world because you're an enemy of God. So many times I quote those verses in my books. And I feel compelled to tell people to come out of this world and leave this world behind. But people seem to not to be listening and not to understand. And this person who uh, has produced this book is selling more copies of this book uh, than my books are selling combined, I think. So um, I, I, I think I'll jump onto his bandwagon and say, hey, get this book uh, because... This uh, this book will wake you up, and so um, I I don't want to uh, spoil uh, what is said uh, with this book, but um, I I will encourage you for someone who spent 16 years uh, reading about um, the prophecies in the Bible that are uh, yet to be fulfilled and 16 years thinking that he was going to be one of the major players. I thought for 16 years I was going to be one of the major players in Revelation. Um, for someone who spent that amount of time to come across something and be convinced is some convincing, you know, and he did it in a really good way. The author of this book's a journalist. He knows how to present uh, history and facts, and uh, he presented it in a really marvelous way. And I really, um, it's only been in the last uh, month or so I've been coming across people who are teaching on uh, Revelation and the last days that really align with what I believe uh, for. For 15 years I've been uh, knowing um, a, a lot of what's going to go on and uh, never finding anyone in any of my searches that uh, had the information uh, presented correctly to what I believed was going to happen. And um, the Lord has worked on me over those 15 years to make me very teachable and very humble because I, I have to admit that um, when he first started and and the first objection or two came to me, um, I almost put down the book. And um, I'm so glad that, um, you know, Jesus has prophesied. I, I teach prophecy and teach people how to prophesy. And so in the course of doing that, I've, I've started hundreds of people in the gift of prophecy. And... Um, in the course of their first prophecy that they prophesied over me to test their gift, uh, the Lord has told me so many times I'm humble and uh, how pleased I am that I'm humble. And um, you, you can't you can't be full of pride and humble at the same time. And uh, God has humbled me and made me teachable. And uh, he prepared me over the course of these 16 years to be able to pick up this book and not put it down, but read uh, everything that was in this book. So uh, I encourage you. Uh, I don't know uh, many people personally who spent 16 years in the books of, of uh, prophecy and study in prophecy. Um, if, uh, if you've um, spent uh, any considerable time uh, reading books about the book of Revelation, even from famous people, um, be prepared to be shocked and awed and uh, be prepared to be really challenged with this book. I'm not sure of uh, the next book or the third book uh, yet, and I'll be doing uh, my uh, video reviews of those books when I've read them, but um, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, this guy uh, really knows what he's talking about, and um, you can take it from me that... Uh, that um, we're in for some really uh, hard times and uh, it's only really the people who are honestly following Jesus with their whole life and being led by the Holy Spirit right now and uh, uh, 
people who already live in the power of the Holy Spirit and already are led by the Holy Spirit and directed by the Holy Spirit each day that are really going to survive this and come through it. And uh, it's very scary. And uh, I was wondering how I was going to warn the people because uh, I, I didn't have... Um, the unction or the compulsion to make videos and now I've come across a book uh, that is uh, ample warning and so I pray that um, you can listen to this video uh, buy the book and uh, read the book and uh, when you've uh, read the book uh, to share the link of the book uh, with anyone uh, that you can on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and um, and uh, share this video with as many people as you can um, and compel everyone to uh, read and buy this book because uh, um, I'll even, uh, I'd even buy all the books for you if I had the money. Um, that's how convinced I am that uh, this guy is onto the truth. Um, I'm not saying everything uh, he says in the book is true. I'm just saying that there was only one thing that I found. And... Uh, and um, I normally, um, people who write on Revelation annoy me uh, because they're just uh, repeating the same old trash. Like, for instance, a temple is going to be built in Jerusalem. Like, peace is ever going to come to Jerusalem. And like, the Muslims are ever going to let them build a temple. And uh, that was my outcry against all these modern people speaking about revelation for years that there's never going to be a temple built I used to say and now I finally got someone who agrees with me that uh, that certainly isn't going to be the case so um, I commend uh, this video to you to your friends um, I encourage you to read the book and when you read the book come back to this video and pass it on to your friends and recommend the book God bless